Just two weeks before the record attempt, Guy and Jason are about to get their first look at their tailor-made tandem. Yeah, yeah. It's looking something. Building the It's thing. looking something. It's three and a half meters long, one meter wide, and weighs just 35 kilos. Just one of them pedaling will keep the trike moving because each set of pedals has a separate chain and freewheeling mechanism linked to a cross shaft, which then drives the rear wheel via a third chain. To get anywhere near world record pace, though, they both need to be pedaling hard. Real nice attention to detail in every area. Look brilliant, look brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's all right. It's all right. Good. I'm more than impressed. Yeah, I am. More than impressed. That's brilliant. What a work of art. Time for Guy and Jason's first test drive. This is the start of it, aren't it? And they quickly discover it's noisy in there. Bloody hell, it's loud. Everything, everything makes a noise. There's a it? word it's for a, that. It's a cacophony. Is that the word? No, um, I won't use that word like that. I just, it's uh, just like a... Racket. It's just a racket. A bloody, bloody racket. racket. <laughs> That's it. That's it. A racket that gets a lot worse <laughs> when you miss a corner. <laughs> I wanted them to go steadily, and they didn't. They're nutters, OK? So what they did was go as fast as they bloody well could. Second bend. <laughs> There's no damage done, and they head off again. They steer using levers mounted alongside their seats. Come here, have a go at steering, you're right. Yeah, I'll do, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even taking things more carefully, they're averaging 27 miles per hour, well above world record pace. Doable, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was really pleased about how quickly we could make the thing go. Yeah. At no point were we... Blowing out of our ass. No, we weren't. To try and keep things cooler inside, an air duct's been built into the bike's nose. As soon as we got over 10 mile an hour, you could feel yeah. the blast through that hole in the front. Mega. The next issue to resolve is how to keep Guy and Jason supplied with food and drink on the move. The goal is, I mean, we've always said it from the very start, we don't need to stop. We've got to take food on while we're moving. OK, next time through, we're going to try feeding. First, we try just standing on the track with the bag on a stick. That ain't going to work, is it? <laughs> that ain't going to work, is it? That one happened in that so one. That, that was going to have been broken wrist, wasn't it? That was the first goal. We then tried cycling with somebody in the back of the, the freight bike. And that somebody is the lightest member of the production team, Sarah. More meat on a butcher's pencil than there is on Sarah. Sarah in the back of the cat with a fishing rod, uh, and then under the end of the fishing rod, like the black bag, with whatever we need. Let's make him go faster. <laughs> with Jason steering close to the supply bike and 74-year-old Mike Burroughs pedalling to match the tandem speed, they manage a perfect handover. Bottom, bottom, mate. Got, got it, yeah, got it. Come on. That worked remarkably well. That will be how we get it on board to, to dispose of it. They simply chuck it out the side. As Guy and Jason are intent on not stopping for anything, they also need to work out the best way to wee on the move. We have a solution to your problems. OK. See what you make of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you boys got them for all just for a joke. There's no way. I'm not lucky, boy. Not And then finally, we had sort of a bolt-on device. Where does that go? Three guesses. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and it plugs into this. It will just dribble out behind the wheel. <laughs> it's a bit on the big side. <laughs> yeah, might be for horses. <laughs> I think it was. Bloody sticky. Oh, John Thomas. Right. Anyway, I'm done. Here. <laughs> well, again, don't get mixed up with your drinking tubes. <laughs> <laughs> with Guy claiming not to need a wee, Jason's nominated as tester. Just go, man. Go on. <laughs> Is it working? Is it working? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Most of it went out of the tube. 
<laughs> Where the rest of it go? The rest of it, that'll be short. Oh, Despite a bit of leakage, they agree that the condom catheter is the best solution, and as a very successful practice day ends, confidence is high. If we can't do what we need to do, with everybody, all these people behind us, yeah, and the thing that we've got to do it in, we want to slap, really. Don't we, we do. Genuinely, we want to slap.